Hi, this is the video for the low harmony part for the carol, Go Tell It on the Mountain. So just to let you know, this uh, arrangement has three parts. We've got our top harmony, our middle melody, and then the low harmony part, which is this video. So how the song's going to work, the verses are going to be offered as solo spots, whether you want to sing this on your own or as a duet or a small group of you, I thought it might be nice to have that solo moment. And then the choruses are all going to be in this big harmony. So to start with, I'll just sing you the melody, just so you've heard it, so you can have a think if you want to sing it. It goes like this. Um, da, 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 da. short but it's quite a lot of fun quite nicely lively and then the main melody of the chorus which isn't your part I will still sing for you now if you don't know this carol maybe it was worth learning this just so you got it in your head because it'll help you then work out in relation what your part is so this is the main chorus of go tell it on the mountain following a lot of what I did in that bass part there um, and I will say now your part is the hardest there's quite a lot of subtle changes so whether you want to write this down somewhere or even on the lyric sheet if that's helpful I think with lots of practice and repeating it it'll be absolutely fine and some of it is quite um, intuitive particularly that little walk down you get to do that kind of walk down which should be really really nice I find it fun anyway um, but yeah just keep an eye on all the other subtle bits so I'll go through it slowly now a line at a time and do spend time listening and practicing this if you can so to start with the go you're a third lower on go so it's kind of the main note of this chord so you're gonna go you're gonna go um go tell it on the mountain so go Tell it on the mountain. Try it. One, two, three, four. Go, tell it on the mountain. Then you're gonna go up um, to, to this one. So it's start, actually still slightly lower than you started then. Over the hills and everywhere. Listen again. Over the hills and everywhere. Try it with me. One, two, three, four. Over the hills and everywhere. Once more, one, two, three, four. Over the hills and everywhere. Nice. Now, third line is similar to the first, but the interval is slightly different. So the first line was go tell it on the mountain. This time you sing go tell it on the mountain. It's a mountain. It's a bigger jump. Mountain, mountain. Yeah. So think third verse is just a little lift. Try that with me. One, two, three, four. Go, tell it on the mountain. And you finish with that Jesus Christ is born. So that, that Jesus Christ is born. And again, that Jesus Christ is born. So those two lines together. Go, go, tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. What's more? Oh, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Okay? Try it all the way through this first chorus. The second one's going to be a little bit different. So try it with me. One, two, three, four. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. to repeat that if it's helpful just to practice now the second time through the first two lines are the same so just do them once more with me go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere at this point you're 
you're going to do this fun chromatic bass line. So what chromatic means is basically the very next door note going down. So you skip to start with, and then chromatically. So very close together. So it's going to go, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus. So Jesus is the lowest note. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus. And then to finish, Jesus Christ is born. Da, da, da. Try those two lines with me. One, two, three. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And again, oh, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Nice. So let's do the whole of that second chorus. both of those choruses back to back so you can hear the difference so the first one is going to be um go the third line go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born and the second time through go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born i know they're very different so it is an extra thing for you to learn so it's just worth noting these are two separate choruses and it's always that second one that has the kind of different descending pattern in the third line that third line is the key one just to watch out for what you're doing um, but you'll hear it in the bass as well i'm hoping to have an actual bassist um if not some instrument somewhere will be playing it with you anyway so let's do it two times through the chorus the normal chorus with the altered second repeat that ending so go tell it on the mountain the long notes that jesus christ is born that jesus christ is born now i'm not going to go over that too much on this video because i don't want to confuse you i just wanted to give you a heads up that's what's going to happen but i'll go through all that as we're a full choir together just yeah, just practice there's two different endings for each chorus and then well, you'll be absolutely great for our rehearsal. I know it's been a long video, I'm very sorry. Thank you so much if you're still listening at this point. I hope that's been helpful. As I said, repeat what bits you need, but I'll go through it all together anyway on Sunday. Thank you very much and see you then.